guys. Hi, chickadees. It's Miss Heather again. So we're going to do another art history. It is still going to be with Silly Kandinsky. We love his choice of colors. He uses lots of shapes. It's just really fun artwork. So the last time we did color study, right, where we did, we used crayons or markers or whatever you guys wanted to do and created your own artwork, right? So this is the color study, right? So we're going to look at other artwork he's done. So this is Deep End Impulse, and you can see how he uses lots of circles, right? And in the background, you see some dark colors, right? Some deep tealish and black. Looks really cool, right? And then this one, which a lot of people are aware of, right? It is square with concentric circles, right? Where he did squares and then he put circles in it. And then, of course, one that we've all seen before is circles inside a circle. So, oh, it kind of matches my painting. All right. Anyway, um, we're going to make our own, okay? So this is not going to be replicating like we did with the color study. This is you making your own artwork however you want, okay? So what I figured to do is I'm going to use colored shapes. So you guys can go ahead. And if you want, you can gather all the materials and come and join me. Or you can watch this and then do it on your own. So I used paper, right? Different colors. You can do different colors of construction paper, right? And you can color or not color. You can cut out different shapes, right? You can do diamonds, rhombuses, squares. You can do some triangles, which is an irregular triangle, right? We talked about this, right? Um, I did a bunch of squares and rectangles, but if you want to cut out some circles um, or any other shape, you guys can do that too, okay? So all you need are shapes, colored shapes, glue stick, right? Or anything, any kind of glue works. Um, and then paper. So what I did was I didn't want to make a huge paper, so I cut out half a sheet. And you don't have to use white. I did one. And you can kind of see my version, right? And this is mine, and it's on blue paper, right? So all I did was just take some shapes and just kind of made a little bit of a collage, right? It doesn't have to be this huge, amazing artwork. It could just be you using colored shapes to create whatever you want, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our paper, and we're going to pick out some stuff, okay? So I'm going to use an orange square. Right? Now, let's see. I'm going to do an irregular triangle. I'm just going to put it a little bit on top of it. I'm going to overlay it. Right? See? And then you just keep continuing until you got exactly how you want it. Right? My glue stick just fell apart. Let's see. Here's a different one. It's kind of like a rhombus, right? And I'm just going to keep going. Right? until I kind of got what I want. Now, say I want a circle, but I don't have any cut out. All you need are scissors. Now, unless mommy and daddy say it's okay to use their scissors, you guys know to use exactly the children's scissors, right? The safety scissors, because we do not want anybody to get hurt. So I'm gonna use the adult scissors because, well, I'm an adult and I'm a teacher. And I'm gonna take this square and I'm gonna cut it so that it's a circle, okay? So what you can do is you can just go around, right? Take your time. And remember, what do I always say? It does not always have to be perfect. You just need to, that's right, try your best. So I have my circle. Do you see it? It's not perfect at all. It's kind of like a little blob. But it's my artwork and I can do whatever I want, right? All right, this is what mine looks like so far, okay? Look at that. See the different colors? And you can keep going and you can add different colors. These are just the ones that I have on hand right now, but you can use all different colors. You can use more purples and pinks and blues and reds and you know all sorts of different kinds of colors. You can even do regular blue and light blue, right? I even have some darker blues and blacks and browns and all sorts of stuff, okay? And you guys know what? If you really want to, maybe you guys can take a picture of your artwork and send it to us, right? Your mommies and daddies can probably send it to Miss Laura. I would love to see you guys. 
and see what creative artwork you guys have been doing, okay? I miss you guys so much. Show me what your artwork looks like. Have so much fun, because remember, at the end of the day, it's about having fun, right? And you're learning at the same time and you don't even know it. Bye.